G'day and welcome back to Duck Solid Gaming and Hot Pelleron. Yes, we are back again in France and we're continuing on with our farming exports as we prepare all our crops and everything else. But we're going to get straight into it. Before we do, um, don't forget to uh, like the video. It helps out a heap with the channel. We're going to aim for at least, say, 25 likes. I know, it's lowbrow, but hey, we're a small channel. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe if you're already not subscribed to the channel. Um, we'd love to have you join us. We're on the road to 5,000 subs, so uh, we would love to have you join us. Anyway, let's get into it. So, I'm going to take this truck and trailer. These are the new trailers we mentioned in the last episode. Um, over and start picking up the bales. Now, um, I also do want to show you something else we've done uh, off camera. But first, oh, there we go. I've already shown you. Um, right, let's really get rid of these off here first. Alright, and what we've done is we also have built a bridge. So we put another bridge over here. There is a bridge over there. Uh, we put a bridge over here. This is going to help us facilitate with bringing uh, products in from our production areas over here. So our, uh, just over the hill there, our dairy, our flour mill, um, our two bakeries, uh, the factory, all that sort of stuff. So it's going to help bring all that over. Instead of going left, right, all over the shop, we own the land through here now. So what we've done is we've, we've put in basically an entry through here. As you can see there, we've got an entry. And we're coming in through, and we come down, because this was basically just wasted land where we just had some grass. Uh, we come down, drop down through here into the bridge, and the bridge takes us straight over to the warehouse, the oil process facility, and the juice and jam factory. So that's what we've done. All right, so all that aside, let's go pick up some bales. Now, I haven't taken a bigger vehicle over here yet. I've only taken the small truck, so um, I'm assuming it's all going to be relatively smooth and, and okay. This isn't necessarily the quickest way for this particular route to go get the bales, but uh, it's okay. Not too bad. Relatively smooth through there. Transition up through here. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy enough with that. All right, let's go. So yeah, so we put that in. So that, that's nice and simple, a simple job to do. Um, but uh, if you want any tips, tricks in relation to landscape and stuff like that, then uh, just let me know. And I might uh, do a video on doing things like um, adding in bridges and stuff like that because uh, there are some little tips and tricks, I guess, um, for it, but it's, it's not all that difficult. I mean, if you see my landscaping video, um, it takes you the basic use of the tools. And if you understand that and you've you've mastered the basics of that, then uh, putting in a bridge like that is, is quite simplistic. The fiddly part is just getting the terrain um, to, to smooth out and be um, smooth enough to, uh, to not cause any major issues. All right, here we go, over the railway line. And these are all the bales we've got to collect. So, Let's go line up here and we'll get ready to collect. So we're going to bring up our, well, bring up our UI first. Um, and we're going to bring up the auto load. Um, I've got to turn the auto load off, actually. Right, now. Big bale 240. And that's what they are. Excellent. So we did set the right ones. Um, Change this one to oh, unload to 240. Oh, went too far. 240. There we go. And load those up. All right. Excellent. All right. Now we're going to start at the top and work our way down um, because we don't have to worry about trying to go up the, the incline all the time. Turn that off now. All right. And we'll see how many bars we collect from the field. Now these are, like I said, we're going to put these straight in the bale storage. I said that in the last episode, or maybe even the episode before. Um, put them in the bale storage, and then what we're going to do, we're prioritizing the grass we're in progress of picking up, or mowing and picking up from uh, all the adjacent areas to the fields. Um, that will go straight into the silage fermenter and also the hay dryer uh, to produce our hay in the interim. And the idea is that we can utilize the bales to stockpile uh, for when we don't have any uh, grass available to mow from the adjacent areas of the fields, etc. So that's the plan. All right, so we're just going to mosey on through, pick up these. 
hopefully the trailer doesn't have any um, little glitches like it does occasionally where it just decides to stop halfway through we'll find out soon enough though and then uh, and then yeah we hopefully we also won't tip it over on the incline it's a very deceiving incline through there that you can see down through there it's actually uh, quite a quite a slope but uh, that's why some of the some of the vehicles do have some trouble managing it so pick up both of these there nice all right heavy on the brakes and then head back up the other way like I said we don't want to be going up and down the uh, the hillside it's easier just to go along the hill far less uh, stress on the engine and all the other hardware like tow balls and hitches and all that sort of stuff Right, front trailer is now full as far as it's concerned um, two, possibly two more could be on there, three more that's okay, I think we'll just be just deal with what we've got as the train goes by again We've got so far 227,000 litres of grass. Not too bad. I think last time we got about 550,000, I think it was. 555, 600,000 um, total off this field. So we'll just have to see how we go. So as you can see, you're only going up a small part of the incline there and um, already it's starting to struggle with the, the load it's got on it, let alone when we have a full load. It's always nice when they're spaced equally apart so as we can... Uh, pick up both sides of what would be a run for up and down for the uh, for the baler three hundred thousand litres or just shy thereof and that's about oh, what a third maybe creeping up to a half if we're lucky We ended up, uh, this field over here, as you can see the seed is actually running over there. Um, we did end up deciding to put oats on that field this time around. Uh, we already have got one of our fields uh, near the farm. Our main field near the farm has uh, got wheat growing in it. Um, so I decided that we'd put oats in that one because we haven't got much in the way of oats. We can utilise oats, that's fine. Um, so that's been seeded. Our two potato fields are done seeding and we've also finished seeding our sugar beet field way up to the north. So uh, that's all done. We just need to move our seeder down to field 5 and also I think it's field 10 uh, and seed those two fields that were previously corn fields. Uh, but we're going to wait till um, April till we uh, seed those fields particularly. Right, it's filled full as far as it's concerned, so 364,000. So we're going to head back down now and we'll offload these into the barn. So there's no point having them anywhere else. Come out wide, make sure the train's not coming.
Okay. There we go. First batch done. Second batch. Oops. A bit too far for that. Backed it up a bit. There we go. Uh, left the straggler. Back we go. There we go. So 364,000 is the first load. Now we'll see what we get for the second load. Oh, let's bear with me two seconds. Just got to alt tab for a second. Alright, that's better. For some reason my OBS keeps on getting hidden behind other windows. For no apparent reason other than just it wants to hide. Alright, I'm not sure where the train is at the moment, but I think we should be okay. Yeah, we're fine. Alright, uh, so let's get them set up again. And away we go. A worker has stopped unexpectedly, tank empty. Okay, that's fine. We'll go and refill that later. We'll get all the grass off this field first because then we can uh, come over and roll the field as well uh, for the next growth stage. We may... Actually, what I could do is I could look at... I'm thinking what we might do is we might actually plough this one in and put, um, put a crop in it for the next growth cycle. Um, what crop I'd put in, I don't know, but I'm just thinking we, we've got enough grass probably banked up at the moment. Um, it would certainly help us in a way to have other crops running. Um, maybe another big sunflower crop, for instance. Mm, I have to think about that between this episode and perhaps the next one. I'll contemplate what we're going to do. Uh, certainly would be a good option. It would give us another big field full of, uh, of a crop to utilise. Um, yeah, I'll have to have a good think about that. Certainly an option. Certainly an option. All right. Now, by the time you're seeing this, you may uh, you may already know it may already be out. But uh, Black Dragon has informed me that he's working on 1.5.1 of the uh, Dragon Den pack. Um, that's going to incorporate um, basically adjustment of the um, sell price and the production cycles and stuff like that. So he's just going back and revisiting that, um, which which is good. So it's, it's good to always reflect on that. There's some some elements that I still have modified in variance to what uh, comes with the base uh, mod pack. Um, this suits me a little bit better. Uh, I've, I've reduced some of the production cycle, um, but by and large, we've, we've pretty much, I, I've been letting Black Dragon know what, what cycles I've been running and what I think are the cycle rates. Um, some of them were a little bit, uh, rapid um but yeah it just depends on how many you have as well like i mean i've i've gone a bit of overkill at stages like having six to eight uh orchards for instance so i do get a hell of a lot of fruit um and then that means we've got so much fruit to deal with we've got to sell some of it off which isn't a problem necessarily um but it's it's the sort of things that lead into your production cycles can't keep up with it or your production like your juice and jam factory for instance was producing it so quick that you, in, in, in two years time you, you make millions and millions of dollars and uh, it's not really what we want to do in real life yes that's what we want to do but but not for this we don't want to be being able to purchase the whole map within within a year or two just from our production cycle all right so 364 for the last load we're currently at 312 uh, now 325 so that's um just on 700 now so 364 and 331 is 
three not uh, six ninety five. So we'll definitely reach the seven hundred thousand uh, with not that many left to pick up. So that's now taking us over we're at 344 for this load. That's taking us over the 700,000 total for the harvest of this field. Three seventy. I think that's about full now. There we go. Three seventy-seven. I don't think we're going to get any more on there. I can't see the back of the trailer. I'm, I'm not going to zoom out. I'll just leave it there. So three seventy-seven and three sixty-four. So that's uh, seven hundred and forty, and a little bit left to pick up. So yeah, about seven hundred and fifty thousand liters uh, or kilo of, of hay. Oh, sorry, straw. Ah, uh, not straw. Grass. I'll get there eventually. All right, offload all that, reload the stragglers, offload the stragglers. There we go. All right. And we'll just go pick up the last of these bales now, and then that'll be done for the baling. Which is good. We got it done in uh, a good amount of time. No major hassles. It's the last two up this end. So we have back down the other end. I think that might be about it. By look at it. Looks like it. That's it. So it was just those last four bales. All right. All good. Uh, so that's the grass harvest done. So we'll go and chuck these into the hay bale, the, the bale storage shed. All right, there we go. Whoops, not what I wanted to do. Right, what are we at here? So we've got 238 bales of grass in here now. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, um, what do I need? We don't need to take anything back. Oh, actually we do. I'm gonna to go to the winery and grab what products at the winery and take them back to the warehouse while we're here. Um, so what we need to do is we go, I, uh, and then we need to should be just one press back to the pallets, which it is. And then we go, uh, and then we should be able to pick these up straight off. All right, we'll see how much we've got here in the way of wine. See if we've got any beer. We have got hops coming in here now, so we should have some beer. Now we've collected everything that's available from here at the moment. Beer, material's missing. What's missing for the beer? Let's go and have a look. Um, I thought we had everything set up for that. Ah, uh, winery. Where's the winery up? There, they've gone past. No, there it is there. Right, so for the beer, what do we need? Barrels. No, I don't need barrels for that. What do I need? Uh, barley. Oh, there you go. So that's, that's, a, that's why we needed the barley. That's right. So we've got barley coming. Have I got any barley in storage? I have got some barley. So I should bring some barley over. So as we can um, get some beer running. Anyway. All right. That's it for now by the look of it. So we'll take this wine and put this into the warehouse. This will be a good test of um, our new bridge to see whether we break any wine bottles on the, on the transit over. 
we should be okay. Alright. Cows look as though they've got plenty of feed for the moment, which they should do. We only filled up an episode or two ago. We have got plenty of manure to utilise though. Um, in fact, more so than what we're probably even going to use. So, need to look at um, moving some of that off. Alright. Let's change that back to Euro Pallet for the rear trailer. Sort of going the longish way, and well, it's six and a half dozen the other, I suppose. Run over the road sign that we've knocked over previously. Um, yeah, it's probably a little bit further going this way, but hey, it's okay. I'm just going to test it coming the other way. Also, test how tight my um, entrance is, particularly with these bigger trailers. No, no, not an issue at all. Right, so how smooth is it? Actually, I'm pretty happy with that. It's pretty, it is pretty smooth through there. Bit of a bump there, probably need to smooth that a little bit. That's okay. A little bit of a bump where we've got the bridges join. But other than that, I think that is pretty good. All right, offload all the wine. Excellent. Right, your job is done. All right, what else we got to do? Let's go and have a look-see. Right, we've got this guy to set up for seeding as well. Um, although, I, as I said before, I think we're going to leave that till uh, February. What I was going to do, that's what I was going to do before. Now I've remembered. All right, what I was going to do before was I'm going to go in here and have a look at our sales point, see what we can sell for March. Okay, so we've got sunflowers. Uh, cotton can be sold. Um, there's no sell point for diesel, that's okay. Uh, honey and sunflower oil. Um, about $500,000 worth of profit in there if you wanted to. Um, solid fertilizer. Could sell that for $1.2 million. Okay. Um, Manure. Well, that's what actually that's what we're going to get going. We've got to make some more fertilizer because I mean, if, if if it's that profitable, then that's that's worthwhile selling as well. Um, pig food lime. No, 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 none of that. Uh, maple sap. We've got bugger all of that, so that's not a problem. Uh, none of the other items through there. Okay, so don't have to really worry about that too much. Uh, but you can see all the products we've got here. Look, I mean, apple juice. <clears throat> Apple juice, pear juice, plum juice, 150,000 litres of those. So we do need to start so that we can sell some of that stuff off as well. Um, 11,000 kilos of stuffed animals at $260,000 uh, total. Um, where are our clothes? They should be up here. Uh, clothes, 16,000, $526,000 worth. Uh, wool, we've got a million dollars worth of wool we could sell off. Wow, a million dollars worth of silage we could sell off. Okay. Um, half a million dollars worth of that. $644,000 worth of corn. Half a million dollars worth of sugar. So we've got plenty of plenty of product there for sale. Right, and what I want to do is I also want to have a look at contracts. Um, not worry about the supply and transport. We've got straw, corn. 50,000 litres of corn for $184,000. How did that match up to that? Yeah, okay. That's probably not a bad thing to, to take on, the corn. Uh, lettuce, 7,000 litres, and flour, 228,000 litres of flour. I don't think we've got that much flour on hand. No, definitely not. All right, so um, what we'll do, though, is we will take that corn contract... Um, so let's, 50,000 litres, let's accept that contract. All right, now we need to go back to the farm and find a tractor. Actually, you'll do. 
Oh, he was already running. All right, let's take this back to the farm. We'll grab one of our Trans 70 trailers and we will go and fulfill that contract. I need to make sure I've, I definitely accepted that before I get on over there and sell it too, by the way. Not like the last time we tried doing a contract and we didn't accept it. We went and sold it and we got the money for it, but not as much. Um, we'll go around this way. Past the sugar mill. Okay. So you could take um, the cotton bale in while we're here into the farm. No, I won't bother. I'll just go and get this, this contract fulfilled and then uh, make some more money. Seeing as we spent most of our money now. Where did that go? What, what did we spend all our money on, actually? I'm trying to remember. Hmm. We bought trailers a while back. Hmm. What did we buy? Well, we bought uh, the potato cedar. We bought some seed. We bought some fertilizer. I don't remember spending that much money. But we must have. Hey, that or the tax man's been and taken a whole swath of money off us. Right, there's a Trans 70 I want. Okay. Okay, fill him up with corn and head off to the shop. Now that's way up into the north. All right, so corn. All right, let's double check the contract we took. Active, yep, okay. So 50,000 litres. So we got 70,000 litres, so we'll make a little bit extra on top of that. Let's uh, head off. Where we go. Right. Oh, actually, I better just make sure I know exactly where I'm going. I'm pretty sure it's the shop that's up here. Yeah. Right. So I do know where I'm going. Oh, what have I done there? I've tried to ride off the chickens. Right. We didn't see that. Moving right along. I was just making sure that the uh, the fence post was uh, knocked into the ground enough by using the uh, the tractor as a hammer. Off we go. The turnoff we're taking is um, the one just before the viaduct. Here. We're just at the viaduct. Whoops. Up the hill. Oh, there's grass all around these fields up here. There's plenty of grass to mow up here. <clears throat> hmm. 
Okay, this is where we're coming to. Just double check. Yeah, we're right. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can hit the jackpot here. Yeah, fulfilled the contract. And then made an extra $45,000 on top. So let's go and have a look at our contract. So $45,000 from the rest of the load. And 184 from this. So uh, collect. There we go. So 184,000 plus 45, so that was a $230,000 job. Excellent. Happy with that? Not going to argue with that whatsoever. All right, but that is going to be the end of the episode too. So uh, thank you very much for watching. We do appreciate you joining. As we said previously, don't forget to press that like button. Uh, really helps out the channel, so please press that. If you didn't like the video, then press the dislike button at all. That's okay. Um, that also helps out the channel. So uh, just uh, click away. It's free. We don't charge you anything for clicks. Uh, don't don't forget, you can also subscribe to the channel. So if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. And don't forget that if you do subscribe, make sure you press the alarm notification icon, the little bell sticker down there, um, to uh, make sure that you're made aware. You're getting alerts as to when new videos are available on the channel. Don't forget to come join it. Come join us on Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. The details for those are down below in the description. Uh, a big shout out and many thanks to all our YouTube members and our Patreon Patreons uh, who financially support the uh, the channel. Thanks to those that have continued to do so, used to do so, um, and uh, and may do so in the future. It really helps out the channel a lot. Um, it just goes towards uh, costs like things for internet and if you need any new hardware to support, all that sort of stuff. Um, it is greatly appreciated because uh, we haven't got unlimited funds um, and this is not a full-time endeavor but anyway it is greatly appreciated and never ever expected so um, yeah thanks very much to those people that have like i said previously and currently and possibly those in the future uh, support the channel financially it is appreciated all right but uh, apart from anything else take care of yourselves and loved ones and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at duck solid gaming and Port Belleron. See you all later. Bye.